Well, my background uh, was originally in, in urban and regional planning and um, I, I undertook some, some studies looking at um, a, a stream of technology called geographical information systems. And I got quite enthused as, as a planner early on that uh, maybe there was a, another, another way of, um, of planning our cities, um, moving beyond just colouring in pencils and taking pictures, aspirational pictures of um, bike paths and you know, what urban form could or should look like. And so that sort of background of understanding the power of um, geographical information and the sort of technologies around um, satellite imagery and then using software processing where you can start to bring in multiple layers of the city um, to better inform planning is where I, I really got quite interested in, in, in the whole sort of data-driven approaches to city planning. And um, I've been on that journey for the last 15 years or so, looking at um, what-if scenario planning tools, um, looking at how you bring that data in um, and actually can start to envision um, future cities. That's the power of the data is potentially and ultimately it can really bring together multiple stakeholders and actors in the decision making process. And that includes front and centre you and I as citizens of the city. And so citizen science and um, being able to have many people involved and harness the power of social media and that's another really fascinating data stream we've got coming in social media data and looking at Twitter feeds and sentiment analysis and we know our politicians are very engaged with um, social media and there's particular ways now we can harness that we can geolocate um, tweets we can actually understand what people are thinking um, of certain issues in the city um, in real time and we can actually bring that information in and we can overlay, we can mash up various data sources, sentiment analysis from, from Twitter feeds, we can bring in the bike rider, log data from our smartphones, we can then overlay that with open data coming from a number of agencies like the Department of Transport in New South Wales and we can start to really understand and collectively and collaboratively plan for a better future for our cities.